man. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be working on our Nissan 370Z and one of our main goals today is to get this thing inside the paint booth and start prepping for paint. We do gotta get some things together like get all of our paint, all of our clear coats and our painting supplies. But before we do that, we did tell you guys that we were gonna order a new rear bumper but we just called the dealership and they said it was gonna take well over a week. We just don't have time for that. We're gonna just go ahead and try to fix that rear bumper as best as possible. Then after that, we're gonna give this thing a nice wash load it up on the trailer and then head to the paint booth so i guess we're going to be using our original paint code right yeah i was looking around at all the reds and this is actually a really nice red the whoever repainted this entire car they used a different color red almost like a maroonish red so the color the original color that we're going to get is probably going to be a lot better than this the way we paint it and clear coat it it's going to be a ton better so let's head to the paint store and get some paint all right here at the professional store, CarQuest. Yep, they're already mixing our red paint up, which is around uh, 400 bucks. 400 bucks for, yeah. red's always expensive, so is blue. Yeah, but red, 400 bucks is a lot cheaper than what we paid for the Lamborghini. Yeah, and we're not using this, so I don't know why you're touching it. <laughs> we're using Chromax, yeah. Oh, we're using Chromax paint, but nice yeah. and clear. Yep, nice and clear Chromax paint because you mix it one to one, it's gonna make a lot more paint, so if we buy two quarts that means that basically half a gallon it makes a whole entire gallon and more is better than less so we're gonna go ahead and grab all of our supplies and catch you back at the shop all right so we are finally back we got all of our supplies i'll go over what we got here a little bit later but we're gonna go ahead and actually load this 370 up before we run out of daylights and we just want to get to the paint booth as soon as possible and we will soon repair that rear bumper yep let's go ahead and load this sucker up hopefully it's not too low i mean it's low life yeah, it's it low is. life, but we got the ta uh, the trailer tilted back as far as possible, and I think we'll be all right. Now that she is all washed, now we can head to the paint booth. All right, so we made it to the paint booth. Now we gotta unload it and pull it into the paint booth and pretty much set everything up. This is gonna be a tricky one, just like the Lambo. Yeah. But a little bit different, cause it's got wide body panels that we gotta hang up. We may paint these wide body panels. Uh, another day? Another day. We may paint the whole entire car first and then paint the wide body panels next and all this other stuff. Cause it there's actually a ton of little pieces like all these wide body panels yeah. all that stuff the fenders and wide bodies are all probably gonna have to be painted a after the day. car yeah because there's just too much to paint don't want to mess anything up but let's go ahead unload this thing and pull it in the booth Alrighty guys, so we finally got the car inside the paint booth, but we're actually gonna continue tomorrow because we just got done shooting a video and we wanted to just get an early morning start with the car already being here. But we are gonna grab that rear bumper off the car because we talked about that damage that was on there. We're probably gonna try to fix it tonight and then we're gonna have to catch you guys in the morning. Next day here, we finally got this rear bumper repaired. It looks absolutely amazing. Now it is time to start taping up the car. All right, so the whole entire car is wrapped up, taped up, and we are ready to spray our base coat. But before we do that, obviously we gotta wax and grease remove the whole entire thing. And you may be wondering where is our wide body kit? So we decided to paint those another day because there's just too much panels and not enough room. So let's go ahead and wax and grease remove everything. All 
right guys, so we just finished completely waxing grease, removing the entire car, and we got something special right here that's supposedly gonna make our spraying a lot better. It's gonna separate all the water, clean the air, make fresh air come out of the spray gun. This is the TD3 Pro from Wacom. Let's go ahead and open it up. Look at it, dude. Dude, it looks sick. It is an actual heater too. The hose is heated and all that good stuff. So in the winter times when it's super cold and you want it to spray super nicely and you can dry your paint off with it as well. So there's a bunch of settings to this thing and I'm just excited to open this up and test it out. So let's go ahead and try to set this thing up, see what we can do. So we got this thing all hooked up as it sits right here this is how we're gonna have it because we don't have time to hang it or do we have the right tools so it's all hooked up hopefully we get some nice fresh air out of here with no water whatsoever no type of fish eyes in the paint hopefully we get some smooth paint jobs so let's go ahead close all the doors down turn on the fans tack cloth this thing and spray some sealer Alright guys, so we just sprayed the sealer on the front bumper. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix our black paint. This should be just some solid nascent black paint. We're going to spray this on the roof in the front bumper section and also on the rear bumper. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this stuff up, then we're going to go spray it. So major update here we got the black accents painted right along with the roof the front bumper how's that system working systems working great uh, the best thing about it is I don't have to run on them plastic filters at the bottom of the gun so it makes the gun a lot lighter and makes me want to turn my hand a lot better <laughs> honestly yes. and this little swivel at the end of this line is amazing so we're not yeah that's awesome right there we're not using the actual heating system because it's so hot today there's no need for that but the filtration system is great as well because yeah, we did. It's filtering the air, making sure there ain't no moisture in it. It's amazing, works absolutely great. But there's just no point for us to turn on the heater and actually, because this hose actually heats itself up. And as you can tell, all that power cables inside here, some kind of mechanism going on to heat your air up. If Probably really... like a coil going all the way through it or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and there's a thermal heater in here as well. So it's pretty crazy how it heats the air up, which will be amazing during the winter time since there ain't no heat in this booth. You can honestly get your like flash time and honestly, uh, I've seen people turn on just blowers and they'll blow hot air yeah, out. You can just dry it out dry a lot the car faster. Out. So that's an amazing piece. But other than that, we're gonna go ahead and start taping this black stuff off and uh, covering it up because it's already completely dry. It's like almost 100 degrees today. Yeah, and, so. now, and then we'll be ready to spray everything else red, red right? Yep. I can't wait, dude. This is gonna be so awesome, especially with that roof going black. We're gonna probably have to do the side mirrors black. I forgot totally oh, all Oh, I totally about forgot it. about those, but that yeah. could be painted later. So. Yeah, it's gonna be painted with all the wide body pieces. So let's go ahead and start taping all this stuff off and start painting that red. Oh, 
All right, so we got the black painted areas already taped off along with the roof here, front bumper, and now we're ready to tack off everything else here and pretty much spray that red paint. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing it up while he's gonna start tack clothing it. And uh, well, first of all, let's go look at that red paint. I wanna go ahead and mix it and show you guys because I personally it, have not seen it yet. So it should be a solid red meaning no metallics at all. So let's open it up. This is Chromax paint right here. This is some high quality stuff. A54 Nissan just called straight red. That's the original red, ain't it? Yeah, the original red, so. Ooh, let's see it, dude. Pretty pricey, I gotta say. Yeah. So for all this materials, we spent 900 bucks. So you got the paint, a whole gallon. It's gonna make a whole entire gallon. You see that red? Ooh, it's that a way nice. better red than what they had on it. Let's check it out in the sun. Ooh yes sir she's gonna shine she's gonna look like a oh yeah this is uh the same color code red as the new gtrs they all use the a54 wow so it's a nice red it looks really good so i can't wait to paint the whole entire car so let's go ahead mix this stuff up uh after we mix it up we're gonna tack cloth and start spraying the first coat of red let's do it just threw two coats and man it is hot in there hot as but heck <laughs> that's just one of the little things but another thing is that we're hoping that we do not run out of paint because we are because it's, it's needing good coverage on the black areas like close. the new front bumper how many coats you think we got here um maybe two more coats if we got two more coats we would be i think we'll be yeah good. hopefully we're good because there is that black is a very very distinct color when the red goes on there yeah, it's you like almost, a lot yeah it almost looks like a maroonish because black and red just mix really bad so yeah i'm throwing a good bit on the front bumper and rear bumper it's probably the only parts and then on the primary Primaries. areas it covers a lot better because it's a lot lighter but I'm about to mix this one up. This should be one coat for the entire car. We'll see. I'm misting these coats, making sure everything goes down super smoothly. So let's go ahead, mix this up, and spray another coat.
guys, so we just threw the final, and I think that's the fourth coat of base. It looks really good. Now all we're gonna do is go back in there, untape up all the stuff that we taped up that is black. Hopefully no overspray went on the black. If it did, we're gonna have to touch it up, no big deal. But other than that, I'm gonna clean my guns real quick, set up the clear coat gun, and start spraying our first coat of clear. be able to film the third coat because I'm moving quick actually while he's spraying I'm mixing up more clear coat because it's so hot that it's drying up so quick but we're gonna show you guys the end result anyway so let's keep on moving and get this thing slicked in all righty guys here it is we threw three coats of clear coat and man it is absolutely slick looks absolutely amazing yes it does and now it is time to unwrap it before it fully hardens. Yeah, and you I want gotta to do it just around the most important areas. Yeah. Like around the trim and uh, around these little windows as well. That way, that way it doesn't peel up the paint yeah. once it dries all the way because that's a high risk. Oh yeah, but you gotta be really careful because you can touch the fresh paint job. And you're gonna ruin it. You could ruin it or you're gonna cause you some uh, some paint repair or some buffing and you don't want any of that you just don't want nothing at all yeah so i mean we're going to show you guys around and also unwrap it completely or as much as possible and then we're going to probably catch you guys tomorrow so let's unwrap it first all right so now that we got it all unwrapped we're going to catch you guys tomorrow Alrighty guys, so it is the next day. Man, this paint is looking absolutely amazing. That red just looks super good with the black contrast on everything. Now, all we gotta do is pull this thing out, but we got a problem. We just came here early in the morning and we forgot the key, so it looks like we're gonna have to be pushing this thing. So, we're about to push this thing out into the sun. I think it's just gonna pop. So. Oh yeah, man, dude, that thing looks sick. I love the black roof and everything. Uh, let's put these pillars on. Yeah, we can go ahead and slap them on. All right, so we popped the pillar on. Looks even better now, but let's give it a push, see if we can get it outside. We put it in neutral first. Yeah, put it in neutral, and this wheel over here is bent, so it's gonna make it a little bit difficult, but I think we can handle it. All right, boys? Yes, sir. All the way down. Woo, man. Dang, dude, that thing looks sharp. Slow down now. Look at that thing. In the sun, it just looks so much better. That red absolutely pops. In the dude, sun. let's go grab that bumper. Can we stick it on there? I got my flops on for this occasion. Good. That is what I am talking about. That fresh paint went down real nice. Gonna need a little bit of buffing. There was a little bit of trash in it, but no big deal. This is something that we could take care of easily. You know what I mean? Dude, that thing turned out amazing. 
Alrighty guys, so that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. This thing looks absolutely amazing, so be sure to stay tuned for the next video where we paint the rest of this stuff and then this thing is just gonna start completely coming together. So with that being said, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Goon Squad where you can get an inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you haven't, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com, copy some merch, and support your boys. So be sure to drop your comments down below, let us know what you think, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.